So I'm just going to try to sort of messily work backwards as I uh, carry on this weekend's trend of telling Jessica and Kennedy what their own relationship is like. <laughs> so uh, 11 months ago, uh, my family and I attended what I would refer to as a surprise wedding for, uh, for Jessica and Kennedy. And the event was billed as an engagement party. But as soon as Kennedy's siblings, parents, and friends were all mingling with our own family, Something along the lines of an actual wedding just sort of sprang into being. My father cried. A translator converted our mutterings into Luo and Swahili. There was a moment where Luo tradition called for my family to give Jessica over to Kennedy and his family. My mom seemed upset. <laughs> I think she was sort of unwilling to think of this surprise wedding as some kind of transaction. Uh, where the currency was her firstborn child. <laughs> but as the music and dancing swelled, we gave Jessica to Kennedy and his family, aware that this gesture only told a fraction of the complexity of their union. After all, Jessica and Kennedy's entire relationship has been sort of impossibly reciprocal, which is what I admire most about it. They have found ways to exist wholly and spaciously inside each other's families, countries, upbringings, homes, obsessions, and conveniently, whoever's family they are nearby, they have a language that no one else understands to speak to each other in. <laughs> Be it Swahili in Connecticut, English in Kisumu, or the Morse code of poking and jabbing each other under the, under the table during dinner. <laughs> I have felt the magic of my family beginning to contain other families and humans. The magic of strangers becoming brothers and sisters. Hillary, Liz, George, and all the siblings in, Ken in Kenya. Page two. <laughs> the first time I saw Kennedy in 3D was in July of 2007 in Ithaca, New York. And um, Kennedy took the bus from New York City to Ithaca because a play that I wrote was being performed at a theater there. And my whole family was there, and he was going to meet the whole family. And uh, I remember him getting off the bus. And this was the first time he ever came to the States. And, and uh, I think that I knew that I trusted Kennedy then because I always trust people who, like me, have trouble hiding their nerves, maybe. And Kennedy, you were really, really, really nervous. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know at that moment that I was sitting with, at this weird vegetarian restaurant in Ithaca, the person that would end up being my first and only brother, someone that I have a relationship with that sort of exists independently of Jessica. And, and someone that I feel very, very lucky to, to be in the life of. And I think that when people describe Jessica and Kennedy and their relationship, they sort of miss the point a lot because they talk about the work that they're doing, and they talk about their achievements, and they talk about their plans and their activities and the, the sort of insanity of their story, which is insane, sure, but Jessica and Kennedy, the spine of your relationship, is far sillier, sloppier, and simpler than all of those narratives. And I spent the summer of 2008 with them in Kenya when they were starting the Kiber School for Girls, so now I'm gonna talk about it later. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's not really what I'm talking about. And, uh, and you know, we had, they had like $10,000 and we would wake up and it was just like hustling, complete hustling. And, uh, and no one knew what they were doing and it was really, 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 really hard. Not just the work, but you guys together. It was really hard. There was a lot of things that we were trying to figure out and translate you. And, and, and I think um, that was the moment where I knew that I really believed in you guys and your relationship because I saw you in the shit. And I saw you guys dealing with it and, and working through it and actually you're both so, so stubborn, everyone said it, but what the secret is that you're actually both listening so carefully through that stubbornness to each other. And uh, there's a lot of negotiations you guys make between families and countries and even each other. And, and I, I saw Kennedy struggling to explain this very Western strange relationship to 
friends of his, male friends in Kibera, and, and it was it was odd. And you did it, <laughs> and you did it, and you guys had listened to each other the whole time, and that's something to be marveled at. But really, if I'm going back far enough, today is about you, Jessica, for me. And every experience and experiment of my childhood involved you. Whether it was you pretending to be dead on the floor, only to resuscitate when I ran to the phone to call 911. <laughs> the world was something that we were going to tackle and process together. And my worldview is shaped by your vulnerability and your ferocity, by your instinct towards the irrational, and by the pr pragmatic approach you take towards solving the most ridiculous, gigantic riddles available. You are one of the few people I have never, ever, ever lied to. And despite the distances and silences that adulthood has brought, I am still shocked by the directness of your advice and wisdom and by the tough kindness you offer me and your surroundings. And while all this talk of weddings and marriages makes us use a series of very serious words, I'd like to say that yesterday morning, I was sleeping in my childhood bedroom uh, on Dahlia Street, and Kennedy and Jessica were in the next room over, and I was, I was woken up by the really, really loud laughter of you and Kennedy. First I heard you cackle, and then I heard him cackle, and I tried to go back to sleep, but still, the very loud sound of you guys cracking each other up. Now, I've never, I've never been married, <laughs> but, but from my narrow and specific experiences with various sorts of relationships, <laughs> I think the ones that work are where you really crack each other up. And this is something that comes remarkably easy to both of you. And for this reason, I am absolutely, absolutely as excited to attend your marriage as I am to attend your wedding. I love you guys.